Welcome back. Um, viewers, if you have not subscribed, maybe you are new to this channel or you've been watching us and you've not subscribed, kindly hit the um, subscription button below this video. Uh, it's You can hit on it, subscribe and hit the notification bell once we upload a new video you're going to have notification and um, like this video give us a, a, a like a thumbs up and uh, you could make your comments go into the uh, comment section the description box and uh, make all your necessary comments as um, we proceed a one megabit per second sure. gentleman and um, for him to a little bit tell us what the technology that he's actually um, promoting. So, so we focus on um, components for automotive um, so basically we're doing a lot of products to make cars cleaner safer and also smarter so we're working on autonomous uh, vehicle uh, applications so I can show you a few things okay. if you like. Uh, what we're doing here is a uh, sensor fusion demonstration. Um, so we have some LiDAR data, some radar data, and we are taking that and uh, fusing it um, in our RX microcontroller in real time to create uh, a full picture of what's surrounding the vehicle so that we can make good decisions. So part of what we're doing is with radar. Um, so this is a partner. Um, an automotive radar. Uh, it's a high resolution imaging radar component. Um, we also have many lighting components. So this is a smart lighting and you can see down here it's actually uh, projecting a uh, pixel uh, array of lights uh, and you can program this to be any design you want. We also have an automotive uh, gateway board. Uh, so this is used for communication, ethernet, um, any other sensor data that you need to move around. We have a, uh, a LiDAR system, so this uh, uses a laser for ranging and detection of objects. Um, this is a wireless charging station, um, so you can uh, charge your phone on there. So we make many power components uh, for, for wireless charging. Um, here we have an automotive uh, processing platform uh, from Qualcomm, and we are, uh, have a lot of content there as well. This is a time of flight imager, so it's a, another variant of uh, LiDAR uh, where you can do um, detection uh, around the vehicle of any objects that it may fall. And finally, we have some batter battery management products uh, for electric vehicles and, and electric charging, and then some additional smart lighting so you can uh, configure these uh, rear lamps to have uh, multiple functions and uh, turn signals and rear backup and things like that. Welcome back. Now, if you have not subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button below this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, this channel is here to showcase and improve the digital lifestyle of our community. Uh, we're going to be giving you um, events <laughs> and activities around the world. So, um, on this show today, we are treating yeah. on um, yeah, meets the history of computer. Yeah. Okay. When so it started, you could, uh, the invention, who you invented computer systems, systems, the year, and, uh, 
and um, how computer systems evolved. And, and uh, you're going to enjoy this section on Invent Connect, where we have a platform we share and boost inventions experience around the world. So, of which you have an invention, you don't know how to make it known, you don't know how to protect it, you are looking for investors. Just follow up on this program. You might not know who might be listening to you and um, who might also view your in inventions. You could so send us emails, videos uh, about yeah, your inventions, yeah. send about us uh, pictures device. about your invent about inventions. Uh, you could also uh, visit our online store. You go to italumni.store. You can uh, shut us up. You can have a live chat even while you are listening to us. And we're going to have someone. Someone is right there uh, to attend to you. Uh, to uh, respond to your questions and give you solutions to your uh, um, um, answers to your questions. Uh, also, you might uh, be interested in um, a computer for every home project. Uh, we launched a computer for every home project for Nevadans. We, we want to empower a thousand Nevadans. And um, how do we do this? It's we don't do this alone. We we do this through the help of volunteers, through the help of uh, good meaning and well-meaning uh, citizens, of um, global citizens, American citizens of um, this great country, United States, and uh, the global world in general, to make sure that families are being touched, are being empowered. So if you are listening to us and um, you feel that you can be a blessing to a family, more especially uh, this season of pandemic. You can send us your donations. Um, you go to uh, the career section of italumni.store and uh, you could make your donations. There's nothing that is um, meager for, uh, uh, for, for anybody because this pandemic, this season, People need technology, people need computer to be able what, to access uh, information, jobs, uh, uh, work online, they need to study. Uh, uh, virtually everyone is online. So you can be a help to a family. Most families need what computer systems. So what we do is based on donations, we give out computer systems to family. It's free based on donations. And um, we go to homes and install those computer systems. Now, um, if you are in need of a computer system and uh, you want to assess this platform for you to benefit from this uh, project, um, you can go to italumni.store. It's, you, you're going to see it on the screen. Uh, you can go to italumni.store right away and uh, fill out the application form. And uh, we're going to review it and uh, shortlist you based on donations in stock. So you can send in your donations. We have various collection centers, collection centers in the city of Las Vegas, uh, which you're going to... Um, you, you can access it via our website, um, go to the careers uh, um, tab, and um, you can access various collection centers. And uh, we are here to make sure that the lives of families are being touched positively. So you can also be a, a, a happy hand. You can be a blessing to a family. Support computer for every home project is real and it's ongoing thank you hit the notification bell for you to get notification whenever we drop a new video and uh, like this video share this video and um, make your comments 
you can follow us also up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and um, on YouTube, uh, Digital World TV. And uh, you can also visit um, our online store, italumni.store, for you to also uh, get support, tech support. You can um, buy and sell uh, at a cheaper rate, authentic and uh, you could also learn via a computer for every home we are also having it learn online you can also learn computer skills online for you to be able to what uh, conquer this situation which we we are right in for you to be able to know how to protect yourself online uh, we have various courses ranging from computer basics cyber security we have uh, networking essentials courses that are going to add value to you while you uh, 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 process out of this situation the, this this pandemic situation and um, we're going to um, go back to hi viewers we okay just installed the in 1946 and uh, Prisper leave some the of University of Pennsylvania and receive funding from to the Census Bureau. A recovery home for in 1953, Grace Hopper develops the uh, first computer language, which eventually becomes known as COBO. Thomas Johnson Watson Jr., son of IBM, CEO have Thomas Johnson Watson Sr., receives the IBM 701 EDM to help the United Nations keep tabs on Korea during the war. In 1954, the Fortran programming language, an acronym for formula translation, is developed one of, is developed uh, by a team of programmers at IBM led led by John Bacchus according to Ken. the University of Michigan and, um, what's your name please my name is Skyla. was stated in 1958 Jack Kilbell and Robert Nancy unveils the integrated circuit called known as computer chip Kelby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 for his work. Okay, and um, this computer I wish you have. In 1967, Douglas N. Gilbert shows a prototype of the modern computer with a mouse and a graphic user interface, which is called GUI. This marks the evolution of the computer from a specialized machine for scientists and mathematicians to technology that is more accessible to the public in general. In 1969, a group of developers at Bell's Labs produced Unix, an operating system addressed so compatibility issues written and, um, in the C programming language. To, to see what Unix kind of it's or, Linux is um, an open source operating now. system. So you don't need a, a license to access it. While we have also closed level. operating system. Okay. And, um, Those are actually, licensed what operating our viewers now Unis was portable across multiple platforms view. and I became the operating system of to a computer, you have now have choice among mainframes at main large companies and, and government entities due to the slow nature of the system it never quit gained traction due to the slow nature of the system it never quite gained traction among home pc users in 1970 the newly formed intel unveils the intel 1103 
the first dynamic access memory, DRAM chip. Intel is one of uh, the companies, it's a good company that produces what computer hardware is like motherboards, RAMs, uh, adapters, network adapters, wire, wireless adapters as the uh, various components in the computer system. In 1971, Alan Shogard le leads a team. In 1971, Alan Shogard leads a team of IBM engineers who invent the floppy disk, allowing data to be shared among computers. Now, floppy disk is the old form of um, storage uh, device which was used on uh, the desktop computers. Uh, floppy disk is is the old form of storage and uh, it's, it, it can't contain much uh, files or data on such device. I think um, about 1.44 megabytes of um, storage then was being used for desktop computers compared to our modern day storage devices like the flash drives, like the um, floppy disk, uh, no, the flash drives, like the uh, external hard drives, and uh, those uh, micro, micro XD cards, which we even have up to one terabyte storage uh, uh, opportunities in uh, those devices, compared to 1.44 megabytes of floppy disk. Even uh, currently our files, even picture files, even contain up to that um, amount of uh, storage. That's to let you know how technology evolves so, so, so quickly and it keeps evolving. So it's necessary for you to um, be knowledgeable and for you to follow the trend. In 1973, Robert met Calf, a member of the research staff for Xerox, develops internet for multiple in in 1973 Robert met Calfe, a member of the research staff for Xeros develops Ethernet for connecting multiple computers and other hardware. In 1974 to 1977 a number of personal computers hit the market including Selby and Mac 8 Outer, IBM 5100, Ra uh, Radio Chucks TRS 80, affectionately known as the Trash 80, and the Commando Pet. In the year 1975, the, the January issue of Popular Electronics Magazine features the Ultra 8080 described as the world's first mini computer kit to rival commercial models. Two computers gigs, Paul Allen and Bill Gates, offer to what write software to the Ultra using the new basic language. Now those languages are computer languages. On April 4th, after the successful of the first endeavor, the two childhood friends form their own software company, which is known as Microsoft, in 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Woz Wozniak started Apple computers on April Fool's Day and rolled out the Apple One, the first computer with single circuit board, according to Stanford University. Now, you could know that the people who invented Apple 
were in it was in the year was 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak those are the people who started what Apple computers on April Fool Day so if you are watching this program and you know the April Fool Day kindly um, tell us tell us in the in the comment section was actually the April Fool Day. 1977 radio checks in initial production run of the TRX 80 was just 3,000. It sold like crazy. For the first time, non gigs could write programs and make a computer do what they wished. In 1977, Jobs and Wozniak incorporated Apple and showed the Apple II at the first West Coast Computer Fair. It offers color graphics and incorporates an audio cassette drive for storage. In 1978, accountants rejoiced at the introduction of Viscal's the first computerized spreadsheet program. So the first computerized spreadsheet program was uh, introduced in 1978 called Viscards. So take note. In 1979, word processing becomes a reality as MicroPro International releases Word Star. The defining change was to add margins and word wrap, said creator Rob Barnaby, Barnaby in email to Mike Petri in 2000. Additional changes included getting rid of command mode and adding a print function. I was the technical brains. I figured out how it I was the technical brains. I figured out how to do it and I did it and documented it, said the creator, Rob Barnaby. In 1981, the first IBM personal computer, codenamed Akon, is introduced. It used, uses Microsoft MS DOS operating system it has an intel chip two floppy disk and an optional color monitor shares and rubric and computer land sell the machines marking the first time a computer is available through outside distributors it also popularized the term pc the term PC is called personal computers. In 1983, Apple Lisa is the first personal computer with a GUI. It also features a drop down menu and icon. It flops but eventually evolves into the Macintosh. The, Gav the Gavalian SC is the first portable computer with familiar flip with the familiar flip from case and the first to mark with the familiar flipped from case and the first to be marked as what laptop so from factor the Gavalian SC is the first portable computer with the familiar flip from factor and the first to be marketed as a laptop. Form factor is actually the size and the shape of a computer system. In 1985, Microsoft announces Windows. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, this was the company's response to Apple's GUI. Commando unveils the Amiga 1000 which 
features advanced audio and video capabilities. In 1985, the first dot dash com domain name is registered on March 15, years before the World Wide Web could mark the formal beginning of internet history. The symbolic computer called a small Massachusetts, ma 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 the small Massachusetts computer manufacturer registered symbolics.com more than two years later. Only a thousand, only a hundred dot coms had been registered. In 1986, Compact brings the Desk Pro 356. The Desk in 1950 in 1986, Compact brings the Desk Pro 386 to market. Its 32-bit architecture provides as speed comparable to mainframes. In 1990, Tim Banias Lee, a researcher at CERN, the High Energy Physics Laboratory in Geneva, develops hypertext markup language called HTML. HTML is hypertext markup language. Take note giving rise to the World Wide Web, WWW. In 1993, the, the Pentium microprocessor advances the use of graphics and music on PCs, personal computers. In 1994, PCs became gaming machines as Command and Conquer, alone in the dark theme park. Magic Carpets, Descent, and Little Big Adventure are amongst the games to hit the market. In 1996, in 1994, PCs became gaming machines as Command and Conquer, alone in the Dark 2, Team Park, Magic Carpets, Descent, and Little Big Adventure are among the games to hit the market. In 1996, Sergi, Brain, and Larry Page developed the Google Search engine at Stanford University. So take note, Google Search engine was introduced in 1996 by Sergi, Brian, and Larry Page, who developed the Google search at Stanford University. In 1997, Microsoft invests $150 million in Apple, which was struggling at the time, ending Apple's court case against Microsoft, in which it alleged that Microsoft copied the look and feel of its operating system. In 1999, the term Wi-Fi becomes part of the computing language and users begin connecting to the internet without wires. So in 1999, the Wi-Fi connectivity was invented. In 2001, Apple unveils the Mac OS operating system, which provides protected memory architecture and preemptive multitasking, among other benefits, not to be outdone. Microsoft rolls out Windows XP, which has significantly redesigned the GUI. So, viewers, if you know what GUI is, kindly let us know in the description section. 
In 2003, the first 64 bit processor AMD at line 64 becomes available to the consumer market. In 2004, Mozilla Firefox 10. In, in 2004, Mozilla Firefox 1.0 changes Microsoft Internet Explorer, the dominant web browser, Facebook, a social networking site was launched in 2004. In 2005, YouTube, a video sharing service, is founded. So YouTube was founded in 2004. The essence of YouTube is for people to share videos through what share, upload, and share videos through links. Google acquires Android, a Linux-based mobile phone operating system was acquired by what Android, but, sorry, was acquired by Google. In 2006, Apple introduced the MacBook Pro, its first Intel-based dual-core mobile computer, as well as Intel-based iMac. Nintendo's Y game console hits the market. In 2007, the iPhone brings many computer functions to the smartphone. In the year 2009, Microsoft launches Windows 7, which offers the ability to pin applications to the taskbar of the computer and advances in touch and handwritten recognition, among other features. In 2010, Apple unveils the iPad, changing the way consumers view is founded. So YouTube was founded in the essence of YouTube is for people to share videos through what share, upload and share videos through links. Google acquires Android, a Linux based mobile phone operating system was acquired by what Android, but, sorry, was acquired by Google. In 2006, Apple introduced the MacBook Pro, its first Intel-based dual-core mobile computer, as well as Intel-based iMac. Nintendo's Y game console hits the market. In 2007, the iPhone brings many computer functions to the smartphone. In the year 2009, Microsoft launches Windows 7, which offers the ability to pin applications to the taskbar of the computer and advances in touch and handwritten recognition, among other features. In 2010, Apple unveils the iPad, changing the way consumers view